Hello friends, welcome to Amazoft Webcast. In the second part of this video series, we are going to see how to work with offline files and sync center in Windows 10. In the first part of this video series on offline files, we just set up offline files on our client computer. And in this video, we'll see more about this sync center at client side. First of all, what is sync center? Sync center is a feature of Windows that allows you to keep information in a sync between your computer and files stored in a folder on a network server known as offline files. These are called offline files because you can access them even when your computer or the server is not connected to the network. Basically, it handles the data transfer required to synchronize the content of a network folder when you work on it offline. When you are connected again to the network, it will sync the files you have modified in offline files. Sync Center can be launched by searching from the word sync and also you can use control panel to open a sync center. Now let's search for sync center and let's open sync center. Now here you can see offline files are there. Now if you double click on it, we can see the sales data is there. So in the middle, you can view the existing sync partnership that uh, we are defined if any available over there. While on the left, you have a column with this link from where you can manage the offline files options. Now, if you want to manually initiate a sync, how you can? While most of the time you would want your syncing to be done automatically. You could also do it manually if you choose by right click on the folder that contains offline files and in our case, it is sales data. Just right click on it and select sync sales data and as you can see the sync is completed successfully so you can manually synchronize or you can also create a schedule sync job to synchronize your offline files now here you have options for schedule click on it let's select sync item name and that is sales data click on next now here you have a two options when you want to sync to begin at a schedule time means for example you can set a particular day or particular time but in our case, I'm going with when an event occurs. For example, every time you log on to your computer, click on it. And here we have a options. Choose what event or action will automatically sync offline files. Start syncing when I log on to my computer. Or suppose my computer is idle for at least 15 minutes. In the background, start syncing. And you can also select this box if you want to uh, sync when you lock your windows or when you unlock your windows. Here you have a more options like start sync only if you can specify the condition the computer is awake means not in a standby or hibernate and you can also select the computer has been idle for at least 50 minutes and then start the syncing you can also select the computer is running on external power means uh, suppose if you are uh, using laptop that time these options are helpful and stop syncing if you are uh, using battery like here we have options the computer is no longer running on a uh, external power now suppose if you are uh, using laptop that time do not start the synchronization to saving the power Click on OK, click on Next and you can specify the name as you wish and you're going to specify any new name, just click on Save Schedule to save the schedule and that's it. So this is the way how you can manually synchronize or you can create a schedule for sync job. We also want to see how to resolve a conflicts. Uh, for the demonstration purpose, again I'm going to disconnect these uh, networks. So let's close this and now we are not connected with our server. Now let's access the share folder again. Okay, after waiting for a few minutes, you will see your folder is there, sales data and under sales data. Let's uh, open the report file and going to add uh, another line. Hello, this is second line added by user sales1. Okay, remember we are currently not connected with our share folders. Okay, click on close and on a server at the same time. Let's open a report. And over here, I'm going to add third line added by admin. Click on close and click on save. And that's it. That's coming back on our Windows 10 computer. When you will see conflict in offline files. Now suppose if you edit a file while you are uh, working offline and somebody else on your network also added the same file on a server. And that time you will have a conflict that needs to be resolved. Windows will skip syncing those files and mark them as a conflict, but that easy to fix with the help of Sync Center. Now first I'm going to connect the network again. Let's select connect network and uh, once you are connected with network, then after open Sync Center. Okay, open Sync Center. When the Sync Center opens, click on a view Sync 
conflict but as you can see on the console we can also see there's a one conflict click on it it will be click automatically on a view scene conflict and over here you can see the file where there is a conflict now if you see the detail you can see a file was changed on this computer and the server while this computer was offline to resolve the conflict just uh, right click on the file and select view options to resolve now over here we have a total three options click the version you want to keep first keep this version that means on this computer and in uh, our case that is this is the second line added by our user sales one and this is the copy uh, which is available on this computer and on a Second option, we have a keep this version and that is the version of our share folder. Now, if you see on our share folder, we have a file named third line added by admin and third option, which we have keep both version. The top version will be renamed as the report sales one was one. So if you want to keep this copy, that time you can select this. If you want to keep the copy on the server and that time you have to select this and if you want to Keep the both version that time you can click over here. Let's select keep both version and the conflict is resolved. Now click on view sync partnership. Just right click on it and select sync sales data. Okay, and as you can see, sync completed successfully. Now if we access the share folder, under sales folder, under sales data, open sales one and over here, this is the report file which is from uh, server and that is edited by our administrator the third line edited by admin and this is the copy which is edited by our user sas1 and this is the way how you can resolve the conflict by using the sync center so that's it for this video demonstration thanks for watching this video